Greetings folks, this is another little programming tip for the Tyrannus QX7. Now we're talking about mixing elevator compensation with throttle and this is to counteract the tendency for some gliders such as the Radian 3 channel and also wings like the Dart XL Extreme. They tend to pitch up when you increase the throttle so you find yourself having to push forward on the elevator stick to keep it level or to keep it climbing at a, in a straight trajectory. So there's a simple little mix you can do to uh, make this elevator compensation automatically applied when you increase the throttle. So here's the mixer page for my Phoenix 2000 which is the model we'll be working on. Elevator line here so we've got the elevator being operated by the elevator stick of course we also want the elevator to be operated by the throttle lever so we can just take that throttle line there add it to the elevator line and we just need to check that now when we increase the throttle the elevator is moving in the correct direction which is down which it is doing but uh, it's way too much and it's uh, going up as well as down so this shows when you add that 100 weight throttle line to the elevator channel in the down position of the throttle the elevator goes full up zero in the middle position and full down in the uh, up position so that's not what you want you have to drop the weight and add some offset let's edit that line you have to be really careful with this mix and start off with it very very low because you don't want the plane diving into the ground when you throttle up so I would start with something like five and be very very careful test it when you're up in the air a fair way and we're going to need to offset it as well to bring the zero throttle position back to zero so that is now just giving a little bit of down elevator when the throttle goes up now we can put this on the switch which is probably probably a good idea so that you can switch it on uh, and try it then switch it off if it's no good uh, so just assign a, a switch say the SD switch in the middle position that means it'll only be active when the SD switch is in the middle position so that's pretty much it really you just now need to go out and test fly and then adjust these weights and offsets more or less depending on how much pitching up you have or pitching down if you go too far so let's just check that now so elevator is working normally throttle is working normally we flick the switch then we get some down elevator compensation when the throttle goes up